so then Hutton, for, for companies entering the M&A process, uh, such as Giner, uh, what are the best ways to prepare for technology due diligence? Like, how can they ensure that they are ready to open up that black box and evaluate the technology of the target company? One of the best opportunities there is that most companies, definitely services companies, are really poor at showing how much um, of value attribution so they spent this amount of money to create this extra value and that that is definitely the buyer's opportunity so it's really worth looking at some of the expenditure they put in we've looked at an accountancy recently um you know sort of providing some services around and they they literally went from pen and paper to digital which sounds crazy mm. in this age. but it, it was too it's not yeah. it's not too crazy in our world i can tell yeah. you that <laughs> and um but it but it's like um, you just, you know, so the the things we're looking for really um, is that historical decision making, um, good business initiatives to to create value, um, and, and you know, to be very specific, it's always going to be at the the people, the tech, and the cyber, right? For services businesses, you know, the um, the whole thing around. Um, making sure i mean cyber is probably the the one area that i would always go back to but it's probably 50 percent of the issues we find and um yeah so I, I would say it's those three